Hello everyone, this is Sergeant Mogus. Welcome to another mini tutorial for Planet 2. This time we're gonna talk about how you can earn a little bit more extra money and what's important to earn money and or make profit in Planet Zoo. Alright, so let's jump right into it and then see you guys over there. Alright, so first things first, donation boxes. Really important guys. Really 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 important to have donation boxes everywhere. You really want to put donation boxes everywhere for example of course next exhibits or enclosures of animals just put them everywhere because they are one of the main income source of your zoo so put them everywhere donation boxes are really important guys so make sure you got donation boxes everywhere all right next up educational speakers i know that sounds weird you think educational speakers that does make money mm, depends on how you see it uh, what I see in it is it helps a lot, of course, it helps you zoo a lot. Educational speakers can bring in extra guests to the enclosure, uh, which means more money for your donation boxes. It will attract more guests, to you. and that means more guests means more money for your donation boxes they can put in. So, education speakers, really important guys, just put them also next to a donation box or anything, or in range of donation box, and you should be good to go. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, next up, also educational board. Education board is exactly the same principle as the educational speaker. Just put them next to the enclosures or exhibits and just put them every day. Means extra gas, makes more money for donation boxes. Just put them there and you'll be good to go. Next up is the ATM. And you will think ATM? Yes, ATM. ATM, you can also make a little bit extra money for your zoo. It's not a lot, but it's extra. Maybe it only pays for itself almost. What you can do is just click on the ATM. Right, let me put my UI back. There we go. So you clicked on the ATM. Let me, okay, let me do it over. <laughs> click on the ATM. There you go. <laughs> you click on the ATM. And over here you got a price and you can set the price for when people want to use it. Mine said currently at 50 cents, but you can make it like 40 cents, 30 cents. One dollar, whatever. Don't make it too much, though. But uh, it's gonna have yearly running costs, so maybe it will uh, pay for itself, or you can even make profit out of it. Just be careful that you don't make the price too high. All right, otherwise you get maybe refunds and you will lose money. That's a little tip. Just do it. It works great. All right. Next up, shops. Shops are the same thing. Uh, same principle as the other ones. Uh, shops, you can also change the prices and all of that kind of things. Make sure you got shops everywhere because they're really helpful also with money income. It's not a lot. I mean, donation boxes are still one of the number one spot to earn it. So don't forget that. Um, just click on them. Let's say, example, Gopi over here. Click on it. You go to this little suitcase where it says prices, click on it, and you can change the prices. Usually it starts around $5, I already put mine like 6 cents, so about a dollar up, dollar ten up. Don't make it too much, because otherwise we lose guests again, or clients, whatever you want to call them, at that moment. But change the prices, make sure you synchronize the cost to all shops by clicking this button over here. So... This one, now uh, it's not green anymore, but as soon as you click it, it goes green, it will synchronize cost to all shops, so that means all the gulpy shops. And it will synchronize other prices, so if you change anything, it will also do it to the other gulpy shops, and you're good to go. So make sure you fiddle around a bit a bit, it can still earn you extra money. And the same goes also with Chief Beef, it's exactly the same as the gulpy shop. Prices, synchronizes. All prices to all shops so all the cheese beef get the same prices so you don't have to go manual and do it all over again and you can just change the price to whatever and you're good to go okay. one of the last things the toilets yes the toilets toilets you can also make money out of it click on the toilet and you can also synchronize prices to all the toilets exactly with the beef shop uh, beef shop. <laughs> okay, let's call it the beef shop now. For the beef shop and also uh, the gulpy ones. Uh, so synchronize prices and then you can set a price. Mine is on one dollar now. Maybe it's a little bit too much, but you can just make it to forty cents, fifty cents, sixty cents. You know, and it will still make you a little bit more money and 
it will also pay for itself for the running cost eventually. So that's really great, makes you a little bit extra more money. And the last thing that I really want to point out, probably people already know that because you usually get a notification on that, is your zoo price, your zoo ticket prices. So if you go to zoo over here and this button over here, the zoo overview, you got your zoo tickets prices over here. As you can see mine's already on $22.32 for child. And I want to point out child is actually a it's a, it's a family thing. It's like a family ticket price. That's why that one is higher. It comes like a family ticket price. So you want to change that too regularly. See what makes them happy. All right. If you click on a gas and you see like they're they're happy, it's like oh the zoo price is great. Then you're good to go. Make sure you check multiple guests that they'll think are all the same. If they do, you're good to go and everything is set. And when you got a free fund, I can maybe up the price, do that. All this extra little money helps. Alright, that was the tutorial for today. I hope you liked it. It's a mini tutorial, like I said. I will probably do another tutorial in the future, a longer one about uh, the finances and stuff and how to make more money. But I wanted to keep it, I wanted to have it as short as possible and clear. And hopefully, it, it helps you guys a lot. So if you like it, subscribe, like, comment. You don't have to, that's up to you. I'm just doing this to help people out. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait, one more thing. If you got an idea about the tutorial or you don't understand something, let me know in the comment, guys, and we'll see if I can make a tutorial about it. You guys are awesome. See you next, next, next time. Hey, believe us.